Yeah, I'm worried about starving. Starving. Christonia needs his food. Burns PS4 games. Is always hungry. <laughs> You step into the courtyard where you can already see dredge in every direction. The storehouse isn't far. You slip inside and start loading the carts while Ivor and half a dozen men who came along do the same. When you've gathered as much as you dare, Ivor takes up the position outside the great hall. Dredge have taken uh, notice. Watch closely. Come on, he mutters, and people begin filing out of the hall. Almost immediately, things begin to go wrong. Some dredge go after yawks tied to supplies, while others lunge at the cart with chickens. Terrified men pull out axes, and dredge respond in kind. Not far away, you spot Ivor raising his shield, cursing. You prepare for a fight. Great. There's no way to heal them. Okay, so, uh, let's view. Okay, so he's a swords guy, so we'll put him up to the front. And we'll get a story on him. A young boy growing up in Skrug without parents. Eagle spends a lot of time behind a bartered metal shield, training to be a fighter. The few who know him well call him Gil. Okay, so we can call him Gil now. He is a raid master. He has stone wall. The raid master braces himself for impact, resisting damage from each uh, strike for the next turn. Each hit the raid master takes to either strength or armor is reduced, preventing him from taking permanent damage to either. Raid master can use stone wall to rush into a group of enemies and gain a forward advantage, or step in the way of a powerful enemy to block his uh, movement impunity. Hmm. Shield wall. By standing next to an ally, the raider creates a shield wall, raising the armor of both himself and the ally by one. This bonus remains until the raider is no longer adjacent. Uh, when Ultima... Da, 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 da. I think uh, we've had that before. But stone wall's new. Okay. And let's go here. Oddleaf? Oddleaf? Odd off? I'm just odd. She's odd. The chieftain of Skog was uh, considered one of the luckier men in town when he wooed the beautiful daughter of a well-known fighter. These days, most people consider him a lucky man for marrying someone who knows how to run a town. <laughs> so she is the leader. <laughs> Reign of Arrows. The Sky Striker secretly selects an unoccupied tile on the board and fires up to three arrows in the air. If any, any enemy passes through the selected tile, they are hit by the following arrows, doing normal strength damage and stopping them in their tracks, ending their turn. Rain of arrows can be used offensively and defensively to protect allies in a general and in general is most effective when forcing an opponent to second guess his actions. Smart use of the ability can potentially lock down an entire team. Rank one is one arrow, two, two arrows, three, three arrows. Uh, puncture. By standing still, an archer is able to line up a shot and take advantage of the enemy's missing armor doing bonus damage. For every two points of armor her target has lost the archer gains one additional strength uh, for her attack as long as she moves beforehand this makes uh, her especially deadly near the end of the fight or against tough opponents who have lost a lot of armor just remember not to move given the archer's time to line up her shot okay and let uh, Rook's daughter, Alette, only vaguely remembers her mother, who died when she was a child. Since then, Alette spends most of her time with her father, unimpressed impressed by the traditional rules of other girls in her town. She hopes to become a hunter like her father, and in her spare time, she practices archery with Odd. 
the wife's uh, Scroggs chieftain who has become a motherly figure to her. Uh, thread the needle. By selecting an enemy in a straight line up to five spa spaces, an eagle eye shoots through every character in the way, doing normal strength damage to each, in addition to bonus armor damage and puncture damage. Uh, thread the needle is one of the few abilities that can damage multiple enemies in a single shot even making it extremely useful or powerful in the right hands, even though it also hits allies. Some abilities like Raid, uh, Raid Master Stonewall makes a good combination. Okay, so he's a fighter, so let's move him. So you gotta make it hard. Whoop, what did I do? Uh, yeah, that works. Yeah, that worked. And we didn't get any more items, so let's start the battle. Yes, I could have took some people off the roster because they're injured, but at the same time, you want to get as many in because this sounds like it will be a life or death battle. It's actually not that bad of a battle because we've fought in the three like that before. Amanda says move the archers up, so we're going to, to the, like third line maybe, like here. And, uh, and then that will make them in within range right away. basically run him right into battle because we want to keep some space between our archers. I wish they would show you where your fucking field of attack is, yeah?
four of nine. My giant to get in there and deal with some damage. There we go. You see how much damage he did to himself because of the impale? Okay. This is our guy here. I want him to do the stone wall again, I think. See, he resists every time, which is awesome. I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna use battering ram. him in for a shield. He gets like a shield bonus. So I can do five damage to the big guy. Should I go for it? Because it'll take him half health. Yep. Probably even more. See how stone wall's doing really well. I can do four and then can I bonus it? Yes I can. Big guy's going down. Eagle eye. that girl. She's at two of seven. I'm going to push her back. Right there. Because then if the other guy moves to you. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this is like, oh, I'll shoot it right off. We're playing lawn darts. Uh, this guy, I'm just gonna keep friggin' doing a stone wall. He's doing awesome. And that's what they said as a tactic with the archer. It's actually a good tactic. Oh, he went 